Oh, good afternoon, Derby Dragons. I'm back here to start your more off your afternoon announcements. I don't really have much say, much to say today, but today's Mr. Macho's birthday. So happy birthday to one of our favorite science teachers at Derby. Besides her birthday, it's also National Give Your Friend a Hug Day. Stay social distance and stay safe, but give someone you love a hug, human or animal. I see you, pet lovers. That's it. Now let the announcements begin. Students, there are a lot of important dates coming up. This Friday will be half, half day and virtual. On Monday, May 3rd and Tuesday, May 4th, 7th graders will be taking the AMSTEP test in school. If you are virtual, there will be a makeup day where you will come into the building to complete the test. The NJHS has been working diligently creating a fun-filled character week filled with fun and reflection. Every day during April 26th through 29th, we will be honoring our amazing pair pro, Mrs. Love, who passed away this past March. We will honor her tireless commitment, working to make students achieve, learn, and feel loved and accepted. We are running a fundraiser this week, selling treats for a dollar or less in the cafeteria. The donations will all go to Gigi's Playhouse, an amazing place for students with Down syndrome. The Gigi's Playhouse was created to change the way the world views a Down syndrome diagnosis and send a global message to it of exception, ac acceptance for all. Students who attend Gigi's Playhouse receive emotional, social, and educational support. All of our donations will be sent to Gigi's Playhouse in Mrs. Love's memory. We will also be passing out ribbons in her remembrance. Also, all week look for the puzzle pieces around the school. Yes, there is a puzzle to be solved. Each puzzle piece has a prize attached, and if, you find, and if you find it, the prize is for you. Please leave the puzzle piece for others to read. The puzzle's theme is about perseverance and bravery. These two character traits are something you all have been showing during the pandemic. Hang in there. We're all in this together. On, on Tuesday, A-Square teachers will be passing out sticky notes to put on a lunch team appreciation board located in the, on the windows inside the cafeteria. Our lunch staff and custodians have been amazing, even when the students have, had, have used bad judgment. This is a great opportunity to show appreciation. Thursday is Inclusion Day. Inclusion means the action or state of including or being included within the group or structure. Everyone is included at Derby. We are all part of the Derby family. Thursday, we will have a Derby family bingo game. Your teacher needs to join Mrs. Kamek's Zoom from another computer so we can all play. There will be prizes. On to our commercial. As technology evolves in all parts of the world, it has done nothing more than help us with our everyday lives. Or has it? As we know, us humans tend to get easily distracted with our mobile devices. The distractions can be endless, but there is one distraction that can change someone's life forever, and that is texting and driving. More than 9% of fatal crashes in the United States in the past seven years involved a distracted driver, according to data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. In 2018, 4,637 people died in car accidents linked to cell phone use alone. Nearly 390,000 injuries occur each year from accidents caused by texting while driving. Approximately 660,000 drivers are attempting to use their phones while behind the wheel of an automobile. According to a AAA poll, 94% of teenage drivers acknowledge the dangers of texting and driving, yet 35% admitted to doing it anyway. Between technology addictions getting worse and something bringing itself to your attention every minute, the only thing you can do is watch out for people who text and drive. It puts both of your lives at risk. Now you can prevent yourself from texting and driving, but there isn't much you can do to prevent yourself from being a victim. On Thursday, April 22nd, Derby Track competed against Hazel Park and achieved their first win of the season for both girls and boys. Boys won 109 to 11 and girls won 105 to 14. Both teams did very well with standout performances for many. Highlights on boys were Alberto Corlez and Umberto Bevion, who placed first and second in the two mile run. Brian Pohl ran a solid six minute and eight second mile to get first place. Max Armisi rocked the shot put with first with a first place throw of 20 feet and nine inches. Luke Mikesell secured first in the high jump, leaping four feet and two inches. Beckett Wirtz placed first in the long jump, beating Hazel Park by over a foot with a jump of 13 feet and five inches.
On the girls, Kate Juilliard stood out with a first place in the two mile, 800 meter and 200 meter. Ella Bassett made a three foot 10 inch leap over the high jump to secure first place. Other highlights were Lila Dennis getting first in the 200 meter hurdles and Josie Ruthenberg throwing a shot put 21 feet in, nine, in five inches. Abby Walton came in first in the mile and Derby girls four by 400 team consisting of Abby Walton, Bridget Bongiorno, Kaya Van Gorder, and Mariana Muzzin, securing first place also. Next meet will be at Seaholm on Thursday, April 29th. Come out and cheer on your Derby Dragons. Now to Alex. Thank you, Mark. Now for NBA Rookie Rankings. Anthony Edwards continues to make case for Rookie of the Year. Averaging 20 points a game, he shows that he knows how to move the ball around, and he's one of the best to do it on his team. For a rookie, especially in the NBA, He's a great one, and I can tell that he's going to do good in his career. He's reached the 20-point mark seven times in a row. He's even, at, he's even doing it better than some of the pros. In the Kings game, he averaged 28 points, four rebounds, three steals, four three-pointers in the first quarter, and two nasty dunks in the second half. He's breaking records and soon might even be breaking the backboards. Don't give too much credit, though. The Timberwolves don't want to end up with another bust. In MLB news, Tigers lost to the Kansas City Royals 0-4. Never know what's going to happen on the game of the Tigers. Either you smoke the team and win, or you lead in points most of the game, but then lose it at the end. Or you just drastically lose the ball game. Now on to Molly. Thank you, Alex. I want to thank you guys for watching our announcements, and I all hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.